what's up guys Nick here for another tutorial and today I'm going to be going over the display tag with inside Cinema 4D and a few of its uses and how you can uh, utilize it and use it for your benefit so pretty much what the display tag does is there's a few little things but I'll go ahead and I'll show you real quick so in our scene we have our display to garage shading and let's say for whatever reason we just want um, we just want our little mountain here or our uh, floating island the rock part on the bottom if we wanted that to be have our lines on it so if I come to our object here which is actually our landscape if I right click on it and I come down to display tag and I click on the display tag there's a bunch of options that pop up so there's a shading mode so if I check the shading mode I can now change the shading mode for just our big rock island I know it's hard to see but now our uh, garage shading lines is on uh, I can change it to quick shading quick shading lines, constant shading, constant shading lines, hidden, uh, you can change it to just the lines, you can do a bunch of stuff, um, you can also set the, the style, which is nice, and it doesn't really uh, affect anything in your, um, as you render, it renders out normally for this it's just a work view thing in case you uh, want one object to have lines and not every single object because some objects when they have lines they get a little crazy if they're uh, super subdivided so if we come back into the display tag there's more little options here there is level of detail option which uh, if you drop down we could drop that down to zero and it minimizes the detail like crazy and we'll go ahead and render here it has a lower level of detail so it's easier on your computer you can crank it up I don't know I'll just keep that at 100 like it was before there's also this visibility one so you can set it to let's say 33% uh, visibility and now when we render it this will be uh, partially transparent so yeah it's it's, it's somewhat see-through um, there's also a few of these other ones so like reflections you can turn off so that object won't get reflections you can turn it off so it takes off textures um, you can I don't know exactly what tensilation is or the enhance open GL but there's uh, multiple little fun little uses with inside this display tag that you can utilize you can keyframe all of these so you can keyframe the level of detail you can keyframe the visibility for objects to fade in and out you can set garage shading lines so let's say I want uh, this tree here to have lines so I just throw the display tag on there check that and I drop that down and now this tree has lines and no other tree does so that's gonna be it guys just another short little video just a little informative more of a, a tip than an actual tutorial but I thought I'd show you guys the display tag and some of its neat little uses alright guys I'll talk to you all next time